He is a star of uh, the Goldbergs, Jeff Garland. Jeff, you feeling confident about tonight? <clears throat> um, I'm not feeling unconfident. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That means that I have the, I, I'm up by what seven or eight? Seven and change. Yeah, seven I mean I, I can't do the decimals. You have two players who could both do nothing tonight. Benjamin and Sproles. Yep, and I have the Eagles' defense and special teams, which I'd rather have than the than the, the Panthers' defense. Right. Um, so I I don't know. I think you'll win, but I'm they not, do. you know, 100 percent sure. On this that. is big. Five and four versus five and four. More. Yes, no, and, and I'm a bad five and four. I don't have a lot of points. So I'm like there's there's four five and four teams. There are. Two of which make the playoffs, two um two of which don't, and I'm the fourth one. Oh. So everything about me this year in fantasy football is about record. Uh unless I suddenly run off three hundred and fifty point games. Oh my goodness yeah so you yeah. basically what you need to do is face the fantasy version of the Bears defense over the next oh three weeks. dear God man must you <laughs> must you uh, now let's take a few steps I'm gonna the only credit I'm gonna give the Bears defense sure is that Aaron Rodgers is ridiculously is. perfect and of all the great quarterbacks Peyton Brady you know Breeze he's the underrated one of all the great ones yeah, I mean, he is first ballot Hall of Famer. There's no doubt about it one day. And there's nobody who throws like him on the run when he's just rolling out and you feel like he's just going to plant his foot and maybe throw a 10-yard out. He throws a 50-yard bomb like the one to, no, uh, I, I, to, me, to Jordy. You take any quarterback in the NFL in their prime, of which he's in his prime right now. Um, Peyton's still great. Um, but the point being is, I think he's the best quarterback. And the idea that he plays for the Packers is nauseating. <laughs> so, Jeff Garland, if I make you the uh, team president of the Chicago Bears, what would you do today? What would you, know, you do? It, well, today I would do nothing. What are you going to do in the middle of the season? Uh -huh. You know, you, you're gonna, what kind of changes are you going to possibly make? There's nothing you can make. I tell you what I would do. The mm -hmm. only thing I would do right now is fire the defensive coordinator. Mel Tucker. Yes. You give him the because game. Because he, he's consistently uh, done poorly. <laughs> That's the only way to say it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. they gave him more shots and more shots and, you know, um, so that's the only change that you can make to sort of say to everybody, hey, we're serious. But on the flip side, man, there's, there's uh, first off, uh, uh, um, Jay Cutler is bad. <laughs> he is. By the way, skill-wise, as good as Aaron Rodgers. Oh, but, you know, it's that intangible who's a better football player and one's a 10 and one's a 3. You know what I mean? It's, it's, he's got a ridiculous arm. He's athletic. He can do everything. But he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and the Bears offensive line sucks. Well, they've definitely they definitely haven't performed to the point where that they expected um but I don't care what they expected. Yeah. The reality is they've had a crappy offensive line for about 4 or 5 years now. Crappy. Hey, so there. That's the reason why. Do you remember the San Diego Chargers? And when I say remember, I'm talking about you know you're 12, but the point is <laughs> They had Dan Fouts and, <laughs> and Wes Chandler and John Jefferson. and I mean, they were ridiculous on offense. Chuck Muncie, yeah. they could score it well. And their defense, defense gave up 40 points a game. And they still would make it to the playoffs. So I don't blame the Bears' defense. The Bears' defense oh. suck as bad as anybody's defense. Hey, Jeff, you I've, gotta go. I've got to run. I'm up against it, as they say in the radio business. But yeah. good, good luck to you tonight. I mean yeah, that. Hey, I do mean me that. a favor. Sure. Don't have me on the show and get me in the middle of a Bears <laughs> riff and then say we're up against the wall. Well, <laughs> a bunch of crap if you ask me. I'll fit you in in a more uh, time-friendly time slot for All you. Right, the goodbye. Next time. Thank you. God bless you, Jeff. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.